Hey, what's up guys? I'm Biasia and welcome to The Activist Teacher. Um, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there and a special thanks to my mother for making sure that I came out all right. So I know that many of us just don't associate Mother's Day and activism, but actually the two have a really long history together. Mother's Day goes all the way back to the 1870s in our country when Julia Ward Howe wrote a Mother's Day proclamation, which eventually turned into a Mother's Day of Peace. This was a woman who was just sick and tired of war. And instead of sitting on the sidelines like women were supposed to do back in the 1870s, she decided to grab every woman she knew, um, all the mothers she could find, and talk to anyone who would listen about the devastating and unnecessary sacrifices of war. And that culminated in our very first Mother's Day of sorts. So even though Julia Howe made some amazing contributions to the idea of a Mother's Day, and she really should be credited with the first Mother's Day, it's actually Anna Jarvis who gets that award. But Anna used the exact same activist principles that Julia Howe did. She petitioned Congress. She gathered all the women and all the mothers that she could think of and talked as much as she could to anyone who would listen, and it worked. <laughs> in 1914, with her activism, President Woodrow Wilson declared that the second Sunday in May be a public expression of our love and reverence for the mothers of our country. That is the power of activism. And mothers today are not letting up on the causes that they really care about, which is everything. So if you're a mom and you're a member of Code Pink, then today is one of the days where you are spending time writing letters to Congress, talking to our president about how we need to deal with the proliferation of nuclear weapons and how our tax dollars are being spent on things that don't benefit society. Not bad for Mother's Day. And if you are a part of Real Justice Network, then you know that while most women are at home today with their families, getting chocolates and getting hugs and getting breakfast in bed, um, there are thousands of women, mostly black and brown women, that are trapped in an unjust justice system that is not allowing them out because they can't afford the bail money. So you're spending your time actually raising money so that women can get out and enjoy their children and enjoy the day that activism helped bring about. And drop a line down in the comments and let me know what you as a mother or what your mom is working on. What organizations is she a part of? Um, I think starting that conversation would be awesome because mothers and activism go hand in hand, right? Hey guys, don't forget to hit like and make sure that you subscribe so that you can get more videos just like this one. I will see you on the next video. Bye bye.